Hey, this is Morgan Wright of I the Breather. This is Sean. You're watching Stubble. This is New Griffin. Yeah, yeah. Hey, it's the Devil Stubble's music scene, and I'm at the Rockstar Mayhem in Mountain View, California, at Shoreline Amphitheater, and I'm hanging out with Sean and Morgan of I the Breather. What's up, guys, man? Welcome to the Bay Area. Thank you, thank you. So, um, how'd the shows go yesterday? We're what? It's the second show of the tour? We're playing the Sumerian stage, so, uh, you know, it's, 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 a, it's a tent stage, so, um, you know, you're kind of limited as to who you can play for, but the turnout was amazing, you know, yeah, and kids were good. super receptive and got into the music a lot, so it was, it was a good time, good first show. How long have you guys been around? Three years. Three years. Three years? Three years August yeah. of 2009 is when we formed. So your latest album is Truth and Purpose, came out earlier this year? Yep. And um, so you want to tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, you want to. Um, it's a pretty straightforward album. We wrote it about like how we feel about things that are going on and uh, the Christian market right now and things that we don't think is right and how people are just pushing people away for things that they don't think is right. And, um, it's an album that we all put a lot into and decided that, you know, we weren't going to hold back on this album. We were going to write what we wanted to and, like, you know, get get the feelings out that we wanted to and not have anything hold us back from saying what we believe, you know? That's pretty amazing, though. I mean, only your second album and you get that type of creative control. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. It's, um, you know, Sumerian doesn't really limit us to, as, you know, musicians, as what we can do and everything, you know? They play a part in uh, you know some of the aspects that go that go into us writing our music, but uh, you know when it comes to lyrics and everything, we speak our minds and nothing's uh, held back. You know if we're if we're feeling it, we're gonna put it down uh, on the CD and it's gonna come out the way that we want it to come out. So it's really real and um, you know speaks. You know it's titled Truth and Purpose for a reason. So it it, it definitely speaks to a lot of people. Well, you guys are a Christian metal band, right? Yeah. Yes. So that's kind of. You know, that's kind of, you know, a weird little fit for the Mayhem Fest, right? It's yeah. more, you see it, like, on the Warp Tour and things like that. So exactly. how do you guys try and connect with some of the older fans who may be turned off by, you know, some of the cleaner vocals or or that type of thing? I mean, I don't I don't even think it makes a difference about where we play or, like, what bands we play with. We, we go on stage every night and, and play for what we love to do and, like, what we believe in every night. And... Them watching us means the world to us. So if, if they're willing to watch us and now like we'll be a big family together, it doesn't matter what you believe or like where you think your life should be or where are, you think we should be. You know, I, I think I think it comes down to the music. Uh, you know, nobody's really here to to hear anybody get up on stage and preach about something or anything yeah. like that. You know, and that's not what we're about. We're about the music first and foremost. You know, our our Christian label just comes from. Our personal beliefs as people, you know, that's how we grew up and everything. So that's that's where that comes from. But um, you know, everybody respects each other, and everybody respects each other's music. So that's uh, that's the main thing okay. when it comes down to. Would you ever tour with a satanic uh, message band? We have. We uh, yeah. we did a tour with Oceano before. They're satanic. Yeah. They're pretty, they're yeah. pretty intense, man. Yeah, they're pretty, they're pretty, pretty intense. crazy. But um, some of the coolest yeah, guys I've ever met. Yeah, some of our best friends. You know, they didn't look down upon us for our beliefs or anything. You know, they vice versa. I take yeah, it. Yeah, right? exactly, oh, exactly, man. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right, that's cool. Yeah. Um, hey, just give me a quick day in the life of mayhem, right? You you fin just finish your set. Just give it to me from till you start your next set the next day. Why don't we just do? Why don't we, we're just gonna start at the beginning of the day. <laughs> you start wherever you want. Well, I, me personally, and a couple of other people from our tour package, we have three bands on one bus. It's 26 uh, people. Wait, one second. Start. Oh, we got time? All right. All right, we, we wake up, I run, eat breakfast. Then the whole entire package wakes up. We set up our stage from the speakers to the wiring to everything. Then we uh, eat lunch, do press, do a signing, play our set, pack down our stage, pack up our gear, and repeat it the next day. Sounds like a pretty full day, not a lot of downtime, yeah. huh? Yeah, it's pretty busy. Uh, you know, you, you try and fit time in there to watch bands yeah. um, in between, like, everything. So, say, like, after this, like, I'll probably go watch um, Upon a Burning Body in Whitechapel on the Jaeger stage. And I highly recommend at 2.30 you go check out the uh, Band of Orcs. 
Okay, we're a death metal band. They just they're only gonna play here today. They dress like okay. they dress like orcs, yeah. and they play death metal. It's it. <laughs> trust me. <laughs> Stone will set you to that. Show. All right, yeah, all right, yeah. all right. All right. What's the longest you ever go without a shower? This dude goes long periods. For weeks. I try and shower every day. <laughs> You're always dirt anyway. Uh, Desert Island question. One book, one movie, one album. Jurassic Park. Um, the book would have to be... Man, I don't know. Something... Well, we'll just go with... The... I'm not a big reader. We'll just go with like one of the Harry Potter books. It's long. You know, it could get interesting. Harry Potter or Harry Potter? Harry Potter. Okay, okay. <laughs> what, was it, what was the last one I had to choose? One album. One album. Say uh, Blink-182, Take Off Your Pants and Jacket. All right. Um, what hologram would you guys tour, tour with? Dude, <laughs> Tupac, man. Uh, Tupac doesn't count. Anybody besides <laughs> Tupac? Uh, uh, you take this one, dude. Elvis. <laughs> uh, Randy Blythe. You guys know who he is from Lamb of God? Yeah. Uh, cold-blooded murderer or a uh, fan gone too far? Fan gone too far. Yeah, fan gone too far. Um, All right, last question. Uh, fuck, marry, kill. <laughs> Right. Kate, Kate Beckinsale, Paula Dean, or Justin Bieber? What? This is horrible. Well, this is. Life, life's not easy. It's full of choices. Take out uh, Justin Bieber. He would have to be Actually, the person yeah, I, yeah. the person I would kill. Uh, Kate Beckinsale, Mary, and then the other one, Paula Dean. Paula Dean, you know. That's yeah, how we all feel. Think about it, dude. Like settling down with uh, Kate is amazing. Yeah. You know. Totally. So you, you just even one time gotta, with uh, even if you Paula kill Dean, you know? Yes. One time I heard Paul Dean is never enough. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's it, man. That's all I got. You guys want to say anything to Legions of Fans out there? Uh, you know, check us out on the Sumerian Records stage all summer long and come out to a show, meet us at our signings, and check out our merch booth and just keep supporting Eye the Breather. Right on. Hey, this is Morgan Wright of Eye the Breather. This is Sean. And you're watching Stubble? And uh, keep the growth growing. Is that what it was? Hey, this is Morgan Wright of I the Breather. This is Sean. You're watching Stubble. We are the. This is live. This is happening. I thought that was my phone. I almost picked it up. <laughs>